The Seahawks preliminary injury report came out for the game against the Saints on Friday with six players listed as out. Highlighted by Cam Chancellor, who will miss his third straight game. Kevin Pierre-Lewis will miss his second straight, but the biggest surprise was defensive end Michael Bennett, who's dealing with a knee injury. Yeah, Michael's going to be out. Um, we're going to check him on Monday and see uh, if, if there's something we can do for him. Um, his knee bothered him uh, after the game coming out, so we're going to take care of him. And we'll uh, look in to see what, what, what's necessary next week. Carroll said it is possible that Bennett will need surgery, but they will know more on Monday when they evaluate him further. To help bolster the Seahawks pass rush, we will likely see Frank Clark and Cassius Marsh in a more expanded role. Frank will get more snaps. Um, Frank's been doing great. We look, you know, we've been looking forward to him getting a big load. He'll get more. Um, it'll call on Cassius to, to do a little bit more. I think that's what you're getting at. Um, and so you'll see the rest of it when, when it happens. Earlier this week, the Seahawks did sign a new defensive end to the 53-man roster in Malachi Goodman, who could potentially see the field on Sunday. He's got really good uh, technique lengthwise. He's got real long arms. He's got a, a nice physical way about him. Um, I've studied his stuff that he showed us from his Atlanta film in preseason, and um, he, he looked well uh, like he was ready to help us in practice, so we're going to go ahead and go with it and see how he does. As for the rest of the defense, who is still recovering from the lengthy game they played against Arizona, where some players saw up to 95 snaps, Coach Carroll and the rest of the staff modified their practice schedule to make sure they are good to go for Sunday. I think because we, we took care of them and we, we adjusted their reps, um, I think everything worked out fine. They, they look good. They look like they're ready to go. Everybody's responding like they feel great. Um, and they look, looked very quick in practice today. That's, this is the day we really wanted to see. They get a good break tomorrow on, on the trip and, and uh, away we go on Sunday. We'll wrap things up with the offense and Russell Wilson, who revealed midweek that he suffered a pictorial injury in the game against Arizona. He was limited in practice all week long, but he is expected to start on Sunday. Yeah, he, he got hit uh, in the pec area, and we just he's, it, it just was, has been sore. And we didn't want to throw through it and ignore it, so we took care of it during the week. He was able to do everything and running around and all that. This is, again, he he's continues to improve in his mobility. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he takes off a little bit more than he has. Uh, he's ready to do that. And he threw fully the last two days, or today? I guess. Um, we, we kept it under control. He, he, he threw out through throughout the practice. Um, we held him back. He didn't throw anything, you know, full speed that he didn't need to. There's a few balls during the week, not many. As for the offensive line and Bradley Sal, who is listed as questionable, the coaches said they will take it all the way up till game time to determine who will be the starting left tackle. We'll kick off a set for 10 a.m. You can watch it live on Fox or, of course, listen to it on the Seahawks radio network.